हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन लिनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स पार्ट थ्री इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फियर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फियर फ्रॉम एग्जाम फॉर गोइंग फॉरवर्ड लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड सम ऑफ द रूल्स टू हैंडल दीज लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरियबल फर्स्ट इज इफ यू टॉक एनी इक्वेशन यू हैव लेफ्ट हैंड साइड दिस इज राइट हैंड साइड दिस इज ट्रू फॉर एनी इक्वेशन यू कैन एक्चुअली सब्ट्रैक्ट और एड सेम नंबर सेम नंबर बोथ साइड सेम नंबर बोथ साइड यू कैन सब्ट्रैक्ट फ्रैक्ट और लेट्स सपोज गिवन बाय ओके एग्जांपल आई हैव द इक्वेशन x plus y is equal to 9 आई कैन सब्ट्रैक्ट बोथ साइड a आई कैन ऐड बोथ साइड b दैट इज अलाउड दैट इज रूल नंबर 1 सेकंड इज इफ आई हैव लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल टू राइट हैंड साइड इन द इक्वेशन I can actually multiply or divide, multiply or divide any number that is not zero, non-zero number, same non-zero number. For example, x plus y is equal to nine. Take same equation. We can multiply both the sides with the two. Both the equations are same. There is no difference. For example. 10x plus 20y is equal to 100. I can actually divide both the side with 10. So what you get is x plus 2y is equal to 10. In fact, both are same equation. We talk about these two equation both are same. <coughs> okay. Please note that you can actually multiply or divide, but the number should not be zero. For example, if you say 8 is equal to 9, and if you multiply both side with zero, you can actually prove it. So multiplying with zero, you can't do. Neither you can divide by zero. If you divide by zero, you get uh, undefined. Because divide by zero is infinite. Okay. So you can add, subtract any number. You can multiply and divide any number apart from zero. But add, subtract zero also will not make any sense because uh, anything plus zero is same number. Anything subtracted zero is the same number. So you can just by the simple one rule saying that you can add, subtract, divide, or multiply. The whole left hand side and the whole right hand side is the same number, given that number is non-zero. You can even multiply with number like three by two. For example, you have x plus y is equal to nine. You can multiply both the side with three by two. You can multiply both the side with pi. You can multiply with irrational number. And you can take any number, any real number. Okay, rational or irrational doesn't matter. Any real number you can multiply or divide. Or you can even add or subtract any real number. This is something you should note for a very very critical concept to solve questions in linear equation. If you talk about the general form of linear equation, for example, I told you, for example, uh, one of the form of equation was x plus y is equal to eight. But if you want to find write a general form of linear equation, the general form is a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero, where a b c all are real number. And a will not be equal to zero, and b will sorry a is not equal to zero, and b will also not be equal to zero, because if either a equal to zero or b equal to zero, it is nothing but uh, equation in one variable, right? So both a and b should not be equal to zero, and a, b, c are real number. That is the general form of equation. For example, x plus y is equal to minus eight. I can write that x plus y minus eight is equal to zero. See x plus y is equal to eight. I can subtract both the side with minus eight. So eight minus eight is what zero. So what you get is x plus y minus eight is equal to zero. So this equation, if I compare with uh, the general form, a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. What I get is a is what one, b is what one, and c is what minus eight. Okay. Let's take some more examples to understand uh, how to write this in the general form. So we have to convert, find the value of a, b, and c in these cases. The first one is two x plus three y is equal to four point three seven. I will subtract four point three seven both sides. Why? Because I have to make RHS as zero. So what I get is two x plus three y minus four point three seven is equal to zero in the equation. Let's compare with the general form a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. Let's compare. What you get a is what two, b is what 
three. C is what minus four point three seven. Please note there's a negative sign here. Okay, let's check other one. X minus four is equal to three y. So I have to form it in the form of a x plus b y minus c plus c. So I can subtract three by both sides. So I get y here. So you get zero. So the new equation will be x minus three y minus four is equal to zero. And let's compare with this with a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. So x is nothing but one into x. So if we compare now, a is what one, b is what three. Sorry, minus three, and c is what minus four. Okay. Similarly, you can do with third and fourth. Let me do one more for you. Let me do. Let me do fourth. Two x divided by y. Right, right hand side has to be zero, so I'll subtract y from both sides. So what you get? Two x minus y is equal to zero. So let's, or I can say that two x y plus zero is equal to zero. Okay. So let's. Uh, Compare with a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. So a is what two, b is what minus one, and c is what zero. So if you see, all these are linear equation in two. The question says we have to write each of these as equation in two variables. If you see, all these equations are of one variable x, y, x, y. Okay. The linear equation in two variables is the form a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. So you have x is equal to minus five. Add both the side plus five because I have to make this as zero. So what you get is x plus five is equal to zero. But that is what we don't want. We want something with the b also, y also. So what I can say is. I can say that this is nothing but x plus zero into y plus five is equal to zero. So we see here, this is one variable and two variables. Okay, but actually by definition, if you see, this is actually linear equation in one variable. We just forcefully writing in the two two variables because the definition says that a and b has to be non-zero. Here we are saying b is zero. We're just trying to represent this in this form, but actually it is not. Right. Similarly, you can do with other. Let me do once again. Uh, this uh, y is equal to two. Y is equal to two. Let's subtract two both the side. So what you get is y minus two is equal to zero. But you have to convert in this form. So I'll say that zero x plus one y minus two is equal to zero. Zero index is zero. Actually. Okay. So if you see, this is x, this is y, and this is A is zero, B is one, and C is minus two. But actually, this is also linear equation. In these are all one variable, but we are just trying to write this in the two variable form. Let's take one more numerical. It says that the co cost of a notebook is twice the cost of the pen. So. The cost of a notebook, which is notebook, is n, and the cost of the pen is p. So the cost of a notebook is nothing but twice the cost of pen. This is the equation I have. Please note. Or if I say cost of notebook is x and cost of notebook is y, so I can say that cost of notebook is x. And this is nothing but twice the cost of n. This is the equation. And I can write this as x minus two y is equal to zero. So this is a linear equation in two variables, which represent the statement. Please understand. Pause the statement. Pause this video and understand this video once again. Cost of a notebook is twice the cost of the pen. If the cost of notebook is x, cost of the pen is y. We have to write the relationship between x and y. And assume this is five rupees and this is ten rupees, right? And how do you write? You write ten is equal to two into five. Similarly, instead of ten, you write 
x and 2 is in here, you have to write instead of y, instead of 5, you write y. So x is equal to 2 y is what you will get. Where x is the cost of notebook and y is the cost of pen. Hope you understand. Please pause this video, understand the concept. Very important concept. Some people are confused in this. So they say uh, 2x is equal to y. I don't know why. Where x is the uh, cost of notebook and y is the cost of pen. So please pause this video and understand why there will be 2 here. Why not here? Right? Why x is equal to 2y is the answer for this. Why not 2x is equal to y? Where x is the cost of notebook and y is the cost of pen. If you want to start with, you can just give some dummy, dummy value 5 rupees and 10 rupees as per statement and just make sure that whatever statement you have written is true. And once you practice, it will be easy for you to write similar statements in future. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.